Okay, to start off we will add a couple of just one by one uh, pin headers effectively. We will use the 0.1 inch which is 2.54 millimeter and we will use uh, the horizontals will be fine. We'll just add those into the schematic, a couple of those, cancel and then we we'll stick a wire between just to join everything up. We annotate and then we can go to the PCB editor. We can import those to the PCB and now we have our two little pin headers. We'll uh, zoom in a touch and we will no, not a bit, select the entire component. There we go and we'll move that over to one side over there. Looks fairly good, yeah. And we'll move this one, uh, we'll rotate it around so they're pointing outwards and move that one over there. Then we will add the trace between. Now oh, I've got this set to have two millimeter and five millimeter. So I'll have the two from here coming across this way a bit. And we'll have a five at the other end. And to about there maybe. Hmm. Not sure that now normally keycad when you put a trace between it will give you some fairly funky rounded ends when the sizes are different. Uh, that's uh that's a little bit off where I want to be. I'll just uh drag this end back a bit and drag this one back a bit. There we go. And we will bring this down. And now see the end would look really quite funky there. So in order to have something that looks nicer, we go back to the schematic. We will label this so that it will come up as available for zones. We'll call this one signal. Okay, then we go back to the PCB editor, update it from the schematic so that uh, it takes on the name. And then we draw a zone. We'll start from... Uh, but normally I tend to start with a larger one and maybe it being five that gives it two and a half across so I'll switch to the half millimeter grid and then we select signal the other bits don't really matter for this and we'll drag that across to a, a little bit out from there I'm locked to 45 degree uh, angles on this just to make things a little easier and we drag it to reasonably look, reasonable looking positions there um, yeah, that looks good. Then we bring this up to be in line with the top of that one. You'll notice it snaps the bit to say, oh yes, this is in line with that. And then B to fill, and then you now have a nice 45 degree angle. And on the 3D view, that looks a bit like this. As you can see, it does have the rounded ends for the tracks at the ends, but there is a way of fixing that as well, which is if I just close out of that and we remove the zone and the two traces that are there, we can do the entire trace using a zone. So I'll just zoom in a bit, bring it a little bit outside of that so that it's got a bit of hop around. Use signal, but we will remove thermal release so we get a nice solid fill. And we'll come a bit out from there. Looks good. And up this way. I'm just scrolling using the middle mouse on this one. Uh, yeah, that looks quite good about there. We come across, don't worry about the zone looking a bit weird to start with. It will fix itself up, just like it did there. About there looks good. And this will because of the 45 degree lock, it will actually come into about the right places and just finish off the zone there. Fill, I'll just deselect, and on the 3D view, that looks like this. You've got nice square ends. Okay, that's it for this tells tip. Thank you for watching and hope it helps you out.